stretch. Approaching a start. There they go. They're off in pacing. Woodmere dancing art from the middle. Elm Grove Jonette at the rail. Third into the turn. That's formidable. Away fourth. As they move over to that opening eighth, that's Invader M. Three pink bows takes fifth. Now six towards the rail is Windermere Bell. And outside party rocking is seventh. The quarter pole bound led by Elm Grove Jonette. For Kenny Arsenault, second up the rail, Woodmere Dance and Art, racing from third. That's formidable. Fourth along the inside, Invader M. On the move on the outside, fifth now is Party Rockin'. Sixth is Three Pink Bows, and the trailer is Windermere Bell. 29 and 3 open it up. They're arriving up the 3 H pole, Elm Grove, Jonette in control. Racing from second is Woodmere Dance and Art. Coming third on the outside, Party Rockin' will be out all the way. Fourth on the rail, that's formidable. Outside fifth, it's three pink bows. Now in six, Windermere Bell and Invader M had a little trouble there at the opening half mile. They swing now to the turn, going to five eighths and the half mile in one minute. And too fast, so a second quarter breather for Elm Grove Jonette, who will be the leader at the 5 8 pole. Woodmere dancing out is second, party rocking third. Fourth on the rail, formidable. Outside fifth is three pink bows. Windermere Bell six, and Invader M has dropped out of the race, going to three quarters, led by... Elm Grove, Jonette, Woodmere, Dart, Sennard, a perfect ride in the two-hole, racing third at the rail, that's formidable, party rocking fourth, three pink bows coming three wide fifth, three quarters in one thirty, and three, just an eighth of a mile left to go, and Elm Grove, Jonette, trying to make every call a winning one, Woodmere, Dart, Sennard coming off her back for the stretch drive, and they're in deep, stretch now, and a textbook, Rated Kenny Arsenal win with Elm Grove Jonette in the PEI Gold Stakes. Woodmere dancing our second, three pink bows third, one, 59, flat. Well, there's the slow-mo tonight uh, for race number three. P.I. Colt Stakes, three-row fillies, and we talked about Elm Grove Jonette in the pre-race, flying under the radar a little bit. Well, no more. Uh, last time out, she was a winner here in Charlottetown at 59-2. and two. Kenny was able to put her on the front here tonight, and again, same strategy. She cut it all out. You can see Woodmere dancing art. Popped out of the two-hole, took a shot. Not here tonight. Elm Grove Jonette was the best. She's the winner. Woodmere dancing art second. Three-point bows rallies for third. One, four, six in race number three. And we see Elm Grove, Jeanette and Kenny are now coming back to the winner's circle. Uh, just quickly, uh, two vehicles that need to be moved. They're in the no parking area. Black Dodge Ram license plate 916QG. That's a PEI plate. Has to be moved. And a gray Dodge Dakota license plate 403PL. That's a PEI plate as well. Both of those vehicles have to be moved right away. Elm Grove Jonette returning from the third. Bay pacing Philly three, but driven to win. Off the Real Desire Dam Aquatic Lightning. Owned by Peter Smith, Larry Chappell, and Gerald Morrissey. Kenny Arsenal training and driving. Philly on top at every call, pacing to a new race win record of 159. Elm Grove Jonette 
in the PEI Colt Stakes at Charlottetown.